Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Bruce Lambert from HowCommunicationWorks.com again. Walking on uh, the beach. We finished our first day of training health professionals yesterday how to talk with patients and families after they've been harmed by health care. And uh, today we're going to be training them how to provide emotional first aid to one another um, when things go wrong. I had one really interesting comment yesterday which has been making me think and I wanted to share it with you and that is somebody from the audience said I had given some examples of uh, how to be comforting uh, to a patient and family who had suffered a loss and someone said that the examples I gave didn't sound authentic they sounded like the words were kind of too carefully chosen that was almost like what I suggested was too smooth, too uh, designed. And so, and, and he said that it was actually better to be kind of stumbling over your words uh, in order to seem authentic, or that someone who stumbled over their words sounded more authentic. So, that really made me think about this issue of authenticity or sincerity or genuineness versus design. Is it possible that if we think really hard about what to say and we design our words carefully, we choose our words carefully, that we're going to come across as, as inauthentic? I don't know about that. Uh, the research suggests that well-designed messages are perceived as more effective, more comforting, more persuasive and generally just better than uh, uh, kind of more hastily designed, poorly designed messages. But I think there's definitely people, I've encountered people on the blog and elsewhere who, who also think that you know, some of the standard techniques of, kind of strategic language use, things like indirectness, um, are signs of uh, deception or insincerity. Um, I'm not sure whether this reflects just individual differences in beliefs about message design uh, or preferences, uh, but it's definitely making me think about what authenticity is, what sincerity is, because I think when you're comforting someone especially, um, actually in most situations, kind of coming across as genuine or sincere or authentic is critical to suc the success of the message. And the question is if you're... If you, uh, design yourself so carefully, design your messages so carefully, maybe you risk being seen as inauthentic. Maybe it's better to uh, stumble and struggle. Um, in any case, uh, that's the latest from today. I'm going to try to get my colleague and business partner to uh, come on video with me later today to talk about the end of our training. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, like and subscribe and come on over to howcommunicationworks.com and sign up for the mailing list. Thanks so much for listening. We'll talk to you soon.